welcome to today's video. Now I'm gonna kind of um, have this tank top on for a few videos. I'm gonna be filming every step of what I'm doing today solely because these are all things that I know that you guys want to see and I'm gonna put my face together so it just made sense to pretty much do a separate video for every single one but the first, the very, very, very first product that I have to use to help my eyeball situation is, yes, the sold out viral under eye tightening cream. Peter Thomas Roth sold out of this and every single retailer that carried this product sold out of it for weeks. Now I know for a fact that Sephora brought it back literally within an hour. They were completely sold out. They were able to, I guess, release a few more, which is how I snagged mine. And then all of a sudden they're sold out again. The Peter Thomas Roth website itself doesn't even have this size. This is the one ounce, yeah, the one ounce bottle. They actually released a three times this size one for 98 bucks, which is still a good deal. However, it's like, dude, can, can, can you just create this? Forget about filling up a bigger bottle, fill this one up. But I was able to get my hands on it at least like two weeks after trying to get it. I finally got it, we're gonna give it a try. I'm wondering if you guys can see this. Of course, you guys can always go to their website and check it out, but apparently, the results are dramatic. This went viral because, oh, I'm gonna try to tag her if I can find her. I'm gonna tag her here. A TikToker used it, no editing, no nothing, released her video. I know she was not expecting to go viral. It was more or so, so she can review the product and let everyone know how great it worked for her. I know you guys are wondering, well, why, do you, why, why, why did you even snag this? You don't need it. You don't have really bad under eyes. I don't. However, with what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, I film, Easily now, it used to be seven days a week. I film four to five days out of the week. And if I go like this, you guys can kind of see what I have. I have puffiness and nothing is helping. Yes, I am four months postpartum, baby. You know, still does the crying. I get a lot of sleep now compared to like when she initially came home, but still. And if I go like this, you see that? I, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. It is not cute. I've done eye masks and it's a very temporary, like a 20 minute, like, improvement and all of a sudden we're back to the same thing so i kind of want to like okay i'm showing you here what this puffiness here looks like clearly i don't have much of an issue here so i'm gonna save this product yes i'm gonna ration it okay it is good by the way it's good for a year so i am gonna ration this i am going to grab a very small amount and i'm only gonna do one side because we want to see the before and after i am going to pat it where I need it, which is here. Is that enough? I don't know when enough is enough. I'm doing about that much, so I'm gonna just add a teeny tiny bit more. Now we're gonna wait and see what happens. I'm gonna keep my face like this, which makes it really awkward because at the end of the day, like it's an awkward position. However, I do wanna see whether or not we see a difference as it's happening. I wanted to let you guys know that yes, this is completely transformative, right? Apparently, based on the video, I saw another TikToker who happened to be a doctor. She was talking about the ingredients in this product and she said the active ingredient. I can't recall which one exactly it was, but what she said was, is yes, it works. Absolutely, it is a temporary fix, however, because the moment that you apply foundation and or concealer over it, Anything you apply over it will completely deactivate the active ingredient. Is it doing something? I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Is it doing anything? Is it not? It kind of feels like it's pretty much dry. I don't know. If I do this, it looks the same. See, I'm trying it so you don't have to. TikToker didn't edit, so we know it works. I'm gonna say, if it doesn't work for me, maybe it needs to be super puffy, like, you know, like, in the under eye in order for it to work and maybe what i have going on is not enough i don't know i'm not trying to debunk the product i just want to see if it works for under eyes like mine i guess a little bit right maybe maybe a little bit because this one's definitely puffier like in this area back here right like over here i am gonna say you're probably gonna have to be really careful when applying your um concealer over it if you choose to do that because right here it almost seems very chalky, like it dried, not necessarily matte. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my fingers look like it has a little bit of a crust situation going on, and that's because the product dried, and it's kind of on the chalky side, which you're gonna get that under the eye. Maybe once I put my foundation and stuff, I'll notice the difference. We'll see. All right, I mean, it's been a good minute, so this is what I'm gonna do. Very, very different from my channel. I normally would go in, apply the same amount on the other side, see if it evens out, and we would like put on a full face. I'm not gonna do that. I am going to only apply concealer, set the concealer 
on this side and of course I'll go in and do the rest of my face. I kind of just want to see whether or not there's a difference with the product or without the product under my eyes specifically. Now this doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. It just means that I am where I am with the situation. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of the Merit Beauty concealer under the eyes. It's also going to help us see whether or not our concealer's finish will be affected in any way by this product. I'm going to be honest. I am nervous. Okay. Um, I, I, oh, oh, no, no. Do you guys see this? This, um, let's do the side without the product. Okay. Let's, 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 um, because of course, look at what happened to my concealer. That's not even cakey at this point. It looks like a cracked eggshell. I am going to set it with a powder so maybe that'll make a difference. This is, this is, I am so disappointed. I waited for so long for nothing. I mean, I know what to do about it, right? As a makeup artist, you know what to do. You go ahead, you remove it, and you reapply. Or, the alternative, you really dilute the product by applying a moisturizer mixed in with a little more concealer and really blend it in with a brush instead or a sponge. You can definitely go that route and you can salvage it, but then that doesn't help this current review. It just doesn't help it. I mean, nonetheless, I do find that I can go ahead and do that. I am going to do that. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, because at the end of the day, you guys can see this is not okay. I grabbed the beauty sponge. The baby is clean. Don't judge it. It's just really stained. And I'm going to use <laughs> the Maracuja Miracle Mist by Tarte. I feel like we need a miracle at this point to make the under eye look somewhat decent. I'm going to use the Marula Primer by Georgette Klinger. Just a little um, pea size. That's not a pea size. I got to take some out. <laughs> That is so not a pea size. Apply some concealer on the back of my hand. I ordered another palette and spatula. It just hasn't gotten here yet. Now with the wet sponge, I am going to blend out the under eye area. I don't even have a powdered concealer to say, hey, let's try a powdered concealer. I mixed the primer moisturizer and the concealer on the back of my hand. And now it's just a matter of blending, blending, blending. Once you've blended all of that out, you want to go in and set that. Okay, that seemed like a lot of work. I'm going to be honest. Does it look any different? Because in my, like in my eyes, based on what I'm seeing, like it looks the same. If anything, this side maybe looks a smidge better. Even if it works for someone with really bad, like puffiness under their eyes, once you apply your concealer, then what happens? No? Something to think about. I finished the rest of my face, and you guys know I like to get as much benefit of the doubt as possible, so that's why... That's why I came back after my makeup was done. Clearly, I was able to fix this under eye situation that was going on, which was kind of cray cray. Um, mm, mm. Let's do this. Do you guys see? It looks the same. No. I don't think it worked for me. It may work for you. It may work for so many other people, but it just didn't work for me. And guys, I read the instructions. I followed the rules. Nonetheless, at least I bought it and tried it so that you didn't have to. And if you're wondering about this eye look, yes, Coral, I filmed it for sure. Like, I, I had to. I had to. So it is definitely going live within a day or two. So no worries, worries, worries worries. Let me know down below whether or not you had your eye on this um, under eye firming product. Are you on a wait list? Are you beasting to get it? After watching this video, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd really like to hear what you guys think after actually seeing me like apply it under my eyes based on what my eyes looked like to begin with. And that is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. They are more unboxing tutorials, how to's and all that good stuff. I know you guys are going to absolutely love and I'll see you guys over there. Bye guys! Thank <laughs> you.